The return to office isn't just about corporate real estate. It's about something so much more. You see, when remote work and work from home became popular during the pandemic, a lot of companies that would never have offered remote work and work from home suddenly had to as the only option to keep on operating. Their employees, though, that were working from home realized that work didn't need to be their number one priority. In fact, they could prioritize other things like family or health. And so people fell in love with this work from home option. If you were someone that could manage your time well and still get results, nobody cared what you were doing during the day. But for companies that are paying huge salaries, they don't want this. They want work to be the number one priority in your life. I mean, if they're paying you six figures, they want you to only care about the work. And so this is why they're forcing people back to the office. They realize that it's a lot easier to control people when they're in the office. It's a lot easier to control the schedule, control what you're doing, monitor when you're in the office versus working from home. And that's the real reason why they're forcing people back to the office right now.